everyone, it's Susie. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm making a video. Um, if you're new here, welcome to Dragonfly Bees. We sell Journey. And in this video, I have a bunch of Avon jewelry as well as some Sarah Coventry and some other things. So, yeah, let's just jump right in. First off, I have, I'm going to start off with Avon. This is a really pretty Avon earring. Has the AB coated rhinestones. It's like an antique brass tone, I guess. There's the back side. It says Avon and um, the initials NR. Let's look at these. Oh, they're clip ons. And they're also marked Avon right there. These are very pretty. We have this pair. Next up, we have a charm bracelet. Isn't this the sweetest? There's a very big spring ring clasp on it. It is gold tone. Um, it's pretty old. And looking at this, I do see some wear on the chain. But look at these charms. They're heavy. And each one is marked Avon on the bottom. So you have this one, it looks like a, uh, what do you call that? I don't even know how to pronounce it. Uh, E-W-E-R. A water pitcher. Yeah, that's a water pitcher. <laughs> this one, hmm, I don't know. Some kind of cranking mechanism. We have a boot, fancy boot, that has a blue stone on top. We have a very pretty vanity chair that has a little pink stone on the cushion. We have this owl, very solid. These are all solid charms, and they all say Avon on the bottom. So yeah, did I show you that? Let me see. This one says Avon as well. The boot says Avon. The chair says Avon on the back. And we were up to the owl. The owl has Avon. And then the last charm is a phone, which also says Avon. So let me measure this charm bracelet. And it's about seven inches in total. So we have this really sweet Avon charm bracelet. Next uh, Avon item, um, it's marked Avon right there. There is a spring ring and it is this faux pearl bracelet. I like this. They're caged. And this one is about seven and a half inches. It's gold tone. I think it's so pretty. And we have that one. Okay, this one is gold tone. It's a necklace. There's the tag, the Avon tag. It's made up of um, these really pretty twisted, swirly rope stations. Well, one portion of it is a rope design and the other is a polished uh, ribbed design. There is a spring ring clasp on this one. And the measurement of the drop is only eight and a half inches. No extender, but we have this very nice Avon necklace. This next one, I am thinking this is a uh, anklet. The reason why I say that is because it's uh, it's about nine inches long, and there is a little extender. What do you think? I'm thinking it's an anklet. 
it is marked Avon right there. There's a little tiny tag. Uh, it's made up of these three strands with different colored seed beads. There's a lobster claw. It's just very sweet and delicate. So we have that one. Okay, brought you in a little closer. Next we have uh, some rings and they are also Avon. Uh, it is marked inside. This one has that um, sizer in there. And it's gold tone and it has this really sweet flippable middle. So one side looks like a, a white pearlescent stone and the other side is a solid black one. And it has this really cool uh, design. For the life of me, I was looking for the um, Avon mark and it's actually right there. So this is sweet. So let me measure this as is it, I mean, it, it's without even pushing it down, it goes to a five, but then if I do push it down, it goes up to a about a six and a half. So we have this one. And then the next ring, this is also an Avon. I like this one. This is a silver tone ring and it's marked Avon right there in the center. Well, no, there's that cartouche on the top. And this one is, um, is a size eight. But look at it. Isn't that pretty? There's a rhinestone center, and all those tiny panels have this um, raised bead design, and I think it's very, very pretty. You see the sides? It kind of, it's kind of raised. So we have this beautiful um, Avon ring. This next necklace is an Avon. Yeah. It's like that antique, it's a very dark, um, what would you call that? Really dark brass. <laughs> it's triple strands. Look at this on the back. And there's a jewelry tag somewhere. I, I saw it. It's, it's uh, hidden back here. It's back here. Well, it does say Avon on that tag. But if you look at this, um, back it has the lobster claw and this one has a spring ring I don't know if you could see that there's the spring ring so this um there's the extender triple strand and it's made up of glass yeah really pretty glass glass beads some opaque with a design, some transparent. There is also some acrylic. And then you do have these um, filigree open work beads. So let's take this off and measure this. So there's, that's what I was talking about. The spring ring and the lobster claw. I'm going to Let's see. Give me a moment. I'm going to remove that. Let me remove that and measure it. I was surprised when I saw Avon. I said, oh, it's a, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit more current, right? I mean, is Avon still selling jewelry? I'm not sure. So, Let's see. I'm measuring it this way, and it's about eight inches. And then you do have that extender. There's the train going by. So we have this really nice multicolor Avon necklace. Here's another Avon that surprised me. Look at this. This is like the cha-cha style. 
it's clusters of these um, acrylic beads. And then there's this pendant, which is a actual tiger's eye. Facet it. It's on a gold tone chain. There is the Avon tag. There is a the same type of lobster claw and spring ring with a very long extender. And take a taking a closer look at the this, it's um like smoky gray tones and clears and there's a, a touch of um this light brown color there's even a tiger's eye bead right there very very different so measuring this one i'm guessing it's probably the same as the other maybe eight did i say eight yeah, it's about eight inches in drop. And then you do have that super long extender. So we have this one, Avon. The last uh, Avon piece I wanna show is this, look at this, multiple strands of chain links. They look to be the same size and design and it has this oval, really pretty box clasp. And there's the signature of Avon on the back. I like this slinky, um, graduated too. So let's measure this one up to the shortest strand. And it comes out to about, about eight inches and it goes down to a little over 11 so I, I like this one we have this really sweet Avon multi strand silver tone and this box class is is quite heavy um, I mean it's it's not inexpensive that's what I meant to say it's not super heavy but it's nice so we have this one Okay, moving on to Sarah Coventry. I have a few pieces, and this one here is a necklace with this really cool acrylic pendant that is interchangeable. As you can see, there are two others that come along with it. It's on this really nice gold tone chain with the spring ring clasp. On the back of the bail, it says Sarah Cove. So what you do is you just, it almost looks like an earring back. Um, you remove that to exchange the different colored pendants. You have this nice, kind of like a coral color pendant. This is a cream color. It needs a little wiping right there. And then you have this nice blue. And let's measure the length of this uh, chain. The chain is nice. It's it, it's pretty nice. And this one has about a 10 inch drop, so you figure 20 inches around. And we have this Sarah Coventry set. Here's another Sarah Cove necklace. Look at this chain. It's it's pretty cool. It's like a mesh of links. Look at that. Some textured, some not. There's a big spring ring on the end. And hanging off of it is this really cool pendant. I like this. Look at that design. And the middle, of course, is a hanging dangly one. I do like this. And on the back side, there is the mark. This one just says Sarah. And let me, this seems to be in pretty good condition. Let me measure this necklace for you. And it comes out to almost 11 inches, um, <clears throat> 22 inches around. And you know what? Let me measure the height of this uh, pendant too. 
I mean, this one is about three and a half inches long. Since I have it out, oh, two and a quarter inches wide at the widest spot. So we have this. Sarah pendant necklace. Okay, next up we have this really nice dove, I guess. Silver tone. Oh, the bar is that way, so let's see. You could wear it so many ways. And it says Sarah Cove on its head. So we have this really sweet brooch, dove brooch. And this one here, where's the mark on this? There it is. This one says Sarah Cove and silver tone mm, peach i'm thinking peach the leaves have some texturing on the top as well as the stem and then there's this polished portion and the whole fruit is textured and then you even have the little like the the bottom of it so we have this one Bring you in a little close. Okay, next we have this really sweet bracelet. The disc have a design in the center. There's the back side of it, so you can see the construction. There is a fold over clasp, and on the clasp, as you can see, it says Sarah Cove. This measures only seven and a quarter inches but it's really pretty next up this is a sarah coventry necklace there is this is one of, it's quite an old one this one has sc there is a hook closure but i have to say you see that there's darkening of those links there is wear on this one because due to its age so let me measure, let me measure this one. Where's the end? Where's the end? You know, I'm gonna measure it um, fully. How's that? So if it were to be fully extended, it'd be about eight inches. But taking a look at it, I want you to notice that there is, it looks nice on the front. It does but on the back is where the wear is you see right there these links do have discoloration on either end and yeah that has to be pointed out and then the ends of that chain has some discoloration as well um, here's that closure and here's the tag this one says, it says Sarah Cove on one side, but it does say SC on the other side. And it's so sweet. It looks like a, one of those um, old fashioned handheld mirrors. So we have this Sarah Coventry. I think it's pretty cool look, look, with this design, the, the swirls uh, necklace. Okay, this necklace I wanted to bring out because I wanted to offer it to my um, subscribers who repair jewelry. Uh, well, this here is a listener, Lis listener, listener. <laughs> Did you hear the motorcycle? <laughs> it's a beautiful vintage uh, necklace. And I don't know if you recall one of my old videos. I. I showed this and I said that they look like fortune cookies to me. And um, I guess they're actual flowers, but it is a very beautiful, sweet necklace. On the hook, it does say Lisner right there. There's uh, these beads going up the neckline. 
And the problem with this is it's missing rhinestones. So, I mean, if you could replace them. This would look really nice. So, we have two missing here. We have one missing here. I think we... I think there's nothing missing there, nothing missing here, one missing there, nothing missing here, nothing... That's complete, that's complete, and that looks complete too. So there's just a, a a few on the on this side, and then um, looking at it, you just need to gently wipe this. It's silver tone. Let's look at the back side. You're gonna see lots of glue residue. I noticed that with a lot of these style um, necklaces. I mean, after so many decades, I guess that's what happens. So that's the back side. And uh, yeah, I'm offering this for someone who can replace the uh, missing rhinestones. So we have this. Okay, next up we have this. This necklace is really long. It's 27 inches in drop it makes that uh 54 inches in total for the chain it's holding this huge pendant which is weighty gold tone polished on the outer circles and you have this texture inside along with this connector uh, this is quite old. There is some scratching, I guess, right? But it doesn't look um, too bad. What do you think? Well, let me show you what this is. This is the back side. And there's the cartouche, and this is also a Lisner. And let me show you the chain. The chain has these really cool stations. They look like those little old fashioned mics. <laughs> it um, is very sporadic throughout the very long chain. Like I said, 27 inches. So I am going to show it to you this way. And there is a spring ring clasp. So we have this, Lisner, gold tone. This is the, I like this though. Um, pendant, pendant necklace. And that chain can be tripled, doubled, worn any which way you like. I've never seen something like this. So it's 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 different for me to see a Lisner that doesn't have bling, you know, that doesn't have uh, rhinestones. That's what I meant. Well, that's a wrap for this pop-up sale. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me that thumbs up and comment. Let me know what you thought. Did you have any favorites? Just let me know below and I would love to read your comments and I will reply as soon as I can. If there's anything you may be interested in purchasing, just email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com. I always put the instructions in the beginning of my video after my introduction. I also include them below in the description box. If anything does sell, I do create a sold list and I put, uh, place that in the comment section and it's pinned. So that means you'll always see that comment first subscribe you have to be subscribed if you haven't already subscribed what are you waiting for just press that red button i think it's red to subscribe to my channel and it's free also ring the bell that way you'll be notified when i post my next new video or schedule a live stream choose all notifications 
And everyone, I have to say thank you. Thank you so much for your support, for tuning in. I appreciate you all so very much. And I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.